Are you making a potion? Yes, something very special. What is it? Mushroom soup. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Oops. Really, Emma, you and your imagination. Now, let's see. You're searching for something, aren't you? Well, yes. I'm trying to find something at the castle. There's a clue in this riddle, but I'm having trouble working it out. Let's have a look then. My former glory stood tall and strong. Glorious knights did here belong. Now I'm tired, worn and old. All that glitters is not gold. Hmm. It does seem as if the castle was the right choice. Now I think you have to find something that is gold or looks like gold. OK. That should be easy. But be careful. Some people say it's haunted. Oh, OK. Bye, Hazel. Bye, dear.
A shining light above the sea shows the place you want to be. The path to this wreck is hidden well, so find a tree and break its spell. Leaves of green to the floor hide a path to a secret door. This is getting more confusing by the minute. You look confused, dear. Have you lost something? I'm trying to figure something out. Anything I can help with? Some toffees, maybe, or some sugar for your pony? You don't know anything about shining lights above the sea, do you? You mean lighthouses, dear? Oh, of course! Thanks, Cynthia. You're the best. Oh, my, how nice of you to think so. Some people seem to think I talk too much, you know. Though I only really... Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> Have fun, then. Hello. I was wondering when I might see you. Harold Holden's the name. I say, I don't suppose you're keen on lighthouses, are you? Well, I don't know. Fascinating. Marvellous. I mean, we'd never have won the war without them. Well, even though they weren't on, in the war, that is. I've always said, you can't sail a ship in the dark close to rocks without a good lighthouse on your side. What do you reckon, hmm? I suppose you're right. Exactly. Well, better get back to it. She's a hard taskmaster, that Freno lens. Well, come again sometime. I'll tell you all about it. Hi, Harold. Hello there, young lady. What are you up to, eh? No good, I bet, eh? What? <laughs> when I was your age, we were always racing around, setting a cracking pace. Not anymore, though. Needs constant attention, this old girl. Plus, it's harder to move with a plastic hip. Always gets me on these cold days. I think I'm looking for a path through some trees or something. Oh, ho, ho. hijinks, I'll bet. Need a bit of inside info, do you? Well, you've come to the right man. They didn't call me the Silver Fox for nothing, you know. The eagle has left the nest, hey? What? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Oh, righto. You play it straight, and I won't let on either. Mum's the word. Um, okay. Trees, eh? The, have a look over to the left, where the path goes back to town. Just keep your eyes peeled. Can't be too careful, eh? Over and out! Ha <laughs> ha!
Hmm, what's this? Now, me hearties, time draws near to reveal the treasures I hold dear. A man of sea would surely know the timeliest hour at which to go. Well, Jack, I think I'm getting closer. Howdy, Bruce. G'day, mate. What are you up to now? Oh, a bit of this and that. I think I'm getting closer to the end of all these riddles. Good on you. Need any more pearls of wisdom from yours truly? What? Want any more help? Actually, if you're offering. What do you think this means? A man of the sea would surely know the timeliest hour at which to go. Well, I'm not a betting man. Not that April knows anyway. But I reckon that you ought to go visit old Derek down the way. Sounds like it's right up his alley, being a fisherman and all. Cool. Thanks, Bruce. No worries, mate.
Hi, Derek. What brings you down to our little part of the world? Can they imagine it's the smell of rotten fish? I do find it mildly enchanting myself, but not many others seem to take a liking to it. Are you after some bait? Um, no. Well, I have a question about the sea. And what might that be? The timeliest hour at which to go? What? Go fishing, you mean? I think so. Well, any time, I reckon. But usually on the change of tide. Do you want to know when the tides are changing? When would the next low tide be? Well, she's low twice a day, but there's a very low tide for the next few days. Just after breakfast, I reckon. Great, thanks. And how long does it stay low for? Oh, not long. An hour or so. Thinking of doing some fishing, are you? Uh, kind of. Thanks. Thank you.